I will here attempt to give a brief sketch of a natural process, analogous to biological natural selection, applied at the grandest of scales, to explain the deepest question humanity has ever pondered, the origin of the cosmos. In this theory, black holes are the wombs in cosmic natural selection. In fecund theory, a theory suggested by Harvard physicist Lee Smolin, a collapsing black hole causes the emergence of a new universe on the other side whose fundamental constant parameters, such as masses of elementary particles, the Planck constant, elementary charge, and even the laws of physics as we know them, may differ slightly from those of the universe where the black hole collapsed. Each universe thus gives rise to as many new universes as it has black holes. Applying reasoning borrowed from population biology, one can conclude that the population of universes in the multiverse is dominated by universes whose parameters drive the production of black holes. The theory contains the evolutionary ideas of reproduction and mutation of universes, and so is formally analogous to models of population biology. In the realm of multidimensional hyperspace, according to this hypothesis, where all universes in the multiverse reside, tiny bubble universes like froth on a latte are created and destroyed spontaneously. Some grow and even reproduce. Our own universe would therefore be the result of successful reproduction by parent universes on an incalculable time scale. An analogy is our own bodies, which is the result of successful reproduction over 3.8 billion years here on Earth. And so, from so simple a beginning, endless universes, most beautiful and most wonderful, have been and are being evolved.